Right there, hope you are doing well. So here we have a direction for question. Answer the following questions based on the information given below. As far as we understood the text and uh, um, we also discussed the tone, style and also summary of the text. Let's move to the question. So this is the uh, another question from the same passage. The question stated, according to the passage, why is the man's action of deceitfully promising to repay the loan deemed morally unacceptable by CAP, right? Now, the question asks why can't determine the man's action of deceitfully promising to repay a loan as morally unacceptable, isn't it? So, in that case, if you look at the first choice, the first choice stated what? It causes harm to others and is therefore unethical, right? So, this choice suggests what? Uh, that the action is wrong, action is wrong because it harms others, it harms others, right? Kent's uh, reasoning is not based solely on harm, but on whether the action can be universally applied without contradiction, isn't it? So hence we can say option one cannot be the answer here. Look at the two, it leads to a contradiction when the maxim is universalized. Now, this choice correctly identifies you, right? So, this choice correctly identifies. What did it identify? It correctly identifies that Kent's moral evolution is based on whether universalizing the action's principle or maxim leads to a contradiction. If everyone acted on this maxim, it would cause a breakdown in the practice of, um, you can say that uh, loaning money, loaning loaning, money, making the action morally unacceptable. Look at the last uh, sentence, or you can say that's a th third sentence. The third sentence said it is motivated by self-interest rather than moral duty. Now, as far as we understood, the choice focuses on the motivation behind the action, while Kant's theory doesn't emph does emphasize acting out of duty rather than you can say that the self duty, self duty, self duty. So, um, beside that, also, um, self interest, the core issue in that uh, case is the logical contradiction, not just the motivation. So, whereas four also said the choice plan points to societal norms as the reason for unacceptable, unacceptability, Kant's judgment is not because of. Social norms, not because of social norms, right? But on the logical con consistency of universalizing the actors, the actions victim or the actions maxim, isn't it? So, in that case, if you look into it, the correct answer is what? Option two, whereas option one, three, four, uh, using with the elements, a silly answer or silly means. Uh, construction. So, here we can see that Kant deems the action of deceitfully promising to repay a loan, a loan, right, morally unacceptable because when universalized, when everyone follows the same principle, it leads to a, you can say that, contradiction. It leads to a what? Contradiction, right or not? So, uh, shows that the action cannot be universalized applied, making it morally impressive according to the Kant's categorical imperative, isn't it? So hence we can say option 1, 3, 4 are elements, uh, you can say that uh, um, cannot judge on the basis of the question, option 2, that will be the suitable answer option, which is pointing about what means uh, um, why is the man's action of deceitfully promising to repay the loan deemed morally unacceptable, right or not? So, two gives nothing but a kind of a region, right? So, hence we can say answer option two will be the clear, right? So, hope you understood this. That's all.